Welcome back. It's swipe day today. Yay. Now I've had a lot of um, people asking me to do a citrus colour swipe. So I thought, why not? So I've got yellow, lime green, orange and dark green. And I'm going to swipe with white. And I'm going to use the little paper towels that I've been doing recently because I really like the way that they've been turning out. Uh, when you cut your paper towel, just make sure that the area that you're swiping with is the serrated edge, not the smooth edge. That's where it's torn. I just like that extra little effect from that serrated edge. It's like fingernails on a chalkboard. <laughs> right, um, I think what I'll do is I'll put my treadmill silicone in the actual colours today. That's it there. Now, my pouring medium is... 50% and I'm going to do two of each. Let's try two of each. 50% actually no I'll do three. 50% <laughs> glue, 50% water. Uh, I've used the Elmer's uh, glue all. And then I've mixed that one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint for these colours. And then for my white, my swipe colour, I've mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint because you want your swipe colour to be thinner than the other colours so it glides over nice and easily. You do need to have an opaque colour in here uh, just to help with your cells. I tend to swipe with an opaque colour, that's why I've gone with the yellow. I was going to swipe with the, sorry, the white, that's, I was going to swipe with the yellow um, and then I thought, well, the cells might not show up because I don't have any opaque colours other, other than the white and then I thought well white and yellow you're not really going to see the cells that much so I thought I'm just going to swipe with white and see how it goes and then maybe another day I'll swipe with a different colour. I might do a series of swiping with different colours just to see what happens. So my swipe colour, no oil in that one and I'm just going to pour it into my little container here. I didn't make up very much, got heaps left. Um, 40 grams of pouring medium to 20 grams of paint. I don't know if you can see that. Are we still in frame? I might just sort of pick you up, pick you up and move you over a bit. There we go. How was that? Just so that you can, uh, that's okay, you can still see can't you? Just so that you can still see what I'm doing over on the side. Okay so the first thing we need to do is um, get the paint on the canvas. So here we go, just any old, any old which way, doesn't really matter. Put a bit on and then put some more on and then put the other colour on on top, just so that we get like a, a nice blending of colours. They look citrusy, don't they? Hopefully one colour is not going to take over. I have a feeling the orange might be a bit naughty and try to take over. So I wanted a dark colour and I didn't want to do black. That's why I thought, well, I'll go with this really dark green. They're all Montmartre colours. So this is the lemon yellow. And we've got the light green, which is that one there. And then there's the orange, and then the dark green is called sap green, S-A-P. Just layering them all. We're going to tilt the canvas and move everything so we've got a nice coverage and the sides are covered. worried about the orange taking over let's just oh well that's all right see I've got I've got what have I got two shades of green a yellow and an orange so hopefully none of them will be too bossy doesn't matter how you get it on there just get it on there I don't like doing too big a blocks of one color though um, because once it's stretched out you'll say you might get like a huge big piece of just one color and then that might not work very well so try and make your little ribbony colours a little bit smaller. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Okay, here we go. Just going to tilt to cover the corners and the edges. You don't want to lose too much paint. Um, what did I do? Oh, God. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas, 12 by 16 inch. I did 
for my, I've got the four colours, I did 60 grams of pouring medium and 20 grams of paint, so that's 100. Whoa, that's a lot going off there. Um, so that's 400 grams in my colours. And then the white, which I didn't use all of you saw that, I did 40 grams of pouring medium and 20 grams of white. I'm just getting over the edges everywhere. You will lose a little bit, but that's fine. You do want your sides covered, don't you? And you can't leave too, too much paint on the surface, otherwise it won't dry. Um, and your cells will sort of stretch a little bit too big. So it's hard to say exactly how much, but just a good covering, a good covering. There's a bubble there. Let me wash my hands. Let me wipe my hands real quick. Um, and then we'll get started. Oh, I've missed a corner. Look at that. I missed that corner. Thought I threw enough paint over everything. All right, now I've got to wipe my hands again. Right. So here we go. See that see what I mean about like a big section of one colour? There's a bubble. If you like if I did a big piece of orange and then I've stretched it. So it doesn't matter, it will be fine. It's all going to all going to blend. Right now, this is where the fun part begins. And I'm gonna put that bit of paper towel there just to catch my bit of oh yeah, one will do. Put my dirty pieces of paper there. Right, are we ready? So just dip about a centimetre into the paint. I hope I've got my consistency right. I did two to one. Sometimes, it, you know, it's sometimes one colour can be a bit thicker than others, but we'll see. Um, and then you're just going to put that area here, somewhere in the middle. Let it sit just for a few seconds. Make sure you've got good contact. And drag. <laughs> Trying to go too wobbly. Now you can either cut that piece off and then reuse it, um, but the only thing is then you'll have a, a straight area instead of that um, serrated kind of area, which it's the top I have to use. All right, so here we go. And this side of my paper towel's also got those little ribbony things on it, so I'm using that side. I haven't torched yet, so I'm not. I don't know if these actually going to get cells up, but we should do. Like I can see the colour coming up underneath. Like it's not too, too white. If it was too white, it would just be this block of white and you wouldn't see any colour coming up underneath, but I think it looks good. So let's go the opposite way. And then make sure that you take your piece of paper towel all the way around. I'll go around this way because otherwise it's going to drip. You don't want it dripping into your beautiful artwork. So to get the cells up, you do need your torch. Because you know how oil and water, the oil wants to come to the surface. They don't mix, do they? So once you've heated, oops, I've got to get a bit closer there, I think. Once you heat I missed that bit. Once you once you heat, try again, Julie. Once you heat your um your paint with your torch, that's when the oil wants to come to the surface, and that brings the other colours with it and makes your gorgeous cells. I'm going to try and overlap a little bit just so that I don't get that line. Oh, there's oh my gosh, there's a blob. There's something in there. I'm going to have to get that out. Oh, there's always something in there. My paints are getting a bit old now. I'm gonna have to re-swipe that one. It's just a it's just a blob of unmixed paint. I would say it didn't mix it very well, or it's a bit old and it's getting a bit thick. Mm, okay, let's see how that goes. I'll swipe that again. I don't like to swipe twice, but sometimes you just have to. I might do that one again as well because it's got that weird line through it. And I've cut up plenty of paper towels, so I should be should have enough. There's still a bit of a blob there, but look, I won't I won't do anything else to it. Once it's got cells around it, um, it'll camouflage it, and <laughs> hopefully you won't even see it. All right, let's keep going. 
So about a quarter of an inch that I've dipped into the, the white. About a centimetre, maybe just over a quarter of an inch actually. Oh, I'm really looking forward to torching it. I'm just going to be patient. Do the whole thing and then I'm going to torch. Just have to be patient. Hopefully these colours work out well. If you put too much paint on and like you come up way too far with the white paint, you'll find that you'll get much more of a, a thick white covering. But I'm only putting a little bit of white on the edge. So as you can see, it's just a, just a pretty thin amount of, of white. I don't think I'm very centered though, am I? I'm kind of more, this side's bigger. It doesn't matter. Oops. I missed the edge there. Let me see if I can go again. Try and overlap a little bit so that you don't get that. So just get your paper towel to overlap a little bit onto that last one. Otherwise, it, it kind of pushes the two together and you can see the stripe of your other colours there. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I just I prefer it not to be like that. So I'll just overlap a tiny bit, like so. Take it around. Can you see which colour is dominating? I thought that would happen, that naughty orange. Naughty orange. Look at all that there now. What am I going to do with that? I wonder if I can get another bit of colour just to pop there on top of that orange. It's the same when I do brown paintings, like the, is it the raw sienna, that orangey one. It always takes over. It's a bit of a bully. What have I got left in my cups? I'm just, I stacked them all together. Now it's a bit hard to get the colours out. see if I can just get a little bit of some green out. It's very dominant that orange. Uh, same with my other green. I did stack all my cups up though because they were empty so now they're all covered in paint on the outside. must remember that, that the orange uh, that the yeah the orange takes over it's just one of those colors that misbehaves all right that'll do me I didn't even use up all the orange now I've got to clean my hands again um all right uh, I've got to get a riddle on. I've got, I've got 10 minutes. I've got to go to a funeral this morning. But I thought I'll just try and get a video up before I head out. Because I'm going to be busy all day. Oh, look, there's another big blob of paint there. So I'll do this. Go and get ready. Pretty ready. Just got to do hair and makeup. You know how it is. nearly there and get changed of course because I'm in my painting scrubs I might have to try and get that blob out why is it that when you're in a hurry just to go okay I'm just going to go and do a quick video it takes longer and you have problems it's always the way isn't it I don't know what color that was that's giving me grief blobby all right, let's go over that one again. It's still a bit there, a bit blobby. I'm just gonna leave it. All right, keep going. I think I'm going on a bit of an angle. Try and go straighter. <laughs> You can offset these as well, like you don't have to go straight. You can go start there and swipe and then start there and, you know, do a, um, what did I call them? I've done those before, those swipes. Now I can't remember what I've called it. It wasn't a zigzag. Mm, I can't remember. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. If you've been watching me, you'll know. You'll go, yes, it's this swipe. I can't remember what I called it. 
Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh my gosh. That's great, isn't it? It's all you need for a funeral when you're standing outside is rain. I better take an umbrella. Alright, there we go. Let's clean my mess up. Let me chuck that. And I'll get the torch out. Oh, there's a cell. Hello. Welcome. You're the first one to arrive at the party. All right, I'm using Big Boy. So nice and high up, not too close. Don't want too, too many cells. But I'm going to try and... Um, I don't like it how I've got that cell there. I'm just going to go over that one again. I'm going to try not to have too many cells in the center just to keep that clean without cells. I'm just going to go over that cell actually that I don't want there. That's better. Get rid of him. Um, yep, yeah, so I'm going to try for cells down here and down there and just leave the middle because I like the middle how it is. All right, here we go. Torching up high. Hopefully we'll get some cells. I'll try not to torch into the middle there. I'll come around the side. Back over on this side, near me. So, as I always say, don't torch too much on the first round. You can always come back, pop some more cells in after. So go slowly, because they take a little while to come up. So just be patient. And go over again if there's some areas that you want more in. Oh, look, there they come. There they come, hello. Welcome, welcome to the world, little cells. It's hard trying not to get in the middle there because I want some here but not too close so it's a bit tricky. Oh no, look I've got over there. Oh well. It's a problem with the big torch. You now you get, it heats up areas that you might necessarily not want to heat. It's alright, as long as I don't get too, too close, like that, that's okay, that's alright, we haven't ruined it. Popping a few more in, down here, down here. Look at that beautiful stripy background, do you like that? Isn't that gorgeous? A few up here. And get in there. There we go. I'm going to leave some negative space just because I like the look of my stripies. Right, I think, oh, maybe, no, no, no. Don't overdo it, Julie. Always overdo it. I'm just going to go to this little corner here. But then I end up doing too much. All right, let's just leave it. Won't overdo it, and I do really have to go. So let me just turn my... I'll try and get my gloves off. Oh, and um, oh, I've missed a bit on the side there. Is it better with that one on? Is that better? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to get my gloves off and then I can take you down for a close-up. I can't go to the funeral with paint under my nails, so I'm going to have to put these back on again. All right. Let me go down for a quick close-up. Oh, look at the stripies. I love those. They're so pretty. Look at their cells does look citrusy, doesn't it? So pretty. And I've managed to keep that middle section pretty clear of cells. There's a few that have popped up, but it's not too, too bad. Loving that background. There it is from that angle. And... See, that's why I turn the ring light off, because I get that reflection. Hang on, let me turn it off. That's better. See, I like the light, the brightness of it, but I don't like the reflection it causes. So, so there we go. Citrus. And the orange did take over a little bit, but it's not too bad. And I love the white with it. What do you think? Do you like that one? I like that one. All right, got to run. Love you and leave you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody.
I'll see you real soon for the next video. Bye for now.